Washington. Um, we are here for Director's Talk. I am meeting with Benjamin Bernard Jr. Um, and he is a fellow actor. So stay tuned for Director's Talk. This is Director's Talk. Um, I'm sitting here with Benjamin Bernard Jr. Sir. We are here in the Lakefront Park in Kissimmee, Florida. Um, it's downtown Kissimmee, so it's a very beautiful area here. Um, so I'm here, here with Benjamin, and he's an actor. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the work you do? Sure, yes. Um, I'm an actor. Uh, I've been doing this now for six years uh, here in Orlando, Florida, and I've been to different states as well uh, for work. Um, I've been working on different uh, different projects, feature films, short films, commercials, etc. So I've been in doing this now for six. Yeah, I've mentioned that six years now. Wow, that's a long time, six years. So what made you get into acting and filming as a whole? The arts has always been a part of me. Um, I used to write poetry, and uh, a friend of mine he saw me. He heard me reading one of my poetry pieces and he said hey you should try acting um, and at first I just shrugged it off because you know uh, typically uh, my mother wasn't keen to that she was just you know you need to do something else besides the arts right but uh, life just brought me back to the arts okay. I tried it one day and I fell in love with it and I've been doing it ever since awesome that's great that's good. So you say you've done work in Florida. Yes. What other states have you traveled to? Atlanta, work? Georgia. I've done uh, North Carolina as well. North Carolina. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and so far, a few states like that. Okay. So let's say um, someone was to ask you um, advice if they were coming up into the industry as an actor. Right. Um, what advice would you give them? Um. I would tell them to, uh, if they're going to pursue this, they have to be, uh, they have to be strong, they have to be willing to, they have to really want it. Um, and uh, if they love this, you know, uh, I would definitely advise for them to get some type of training, because that's always good to have. Mm -hmm. It does really help, uh, you know, help you. It's a skill that you have to learn along with your talent that you do have. Um, and I would tell them to just, you know, there's, there's, there's always, there's always castings. There's always places to go, uh, events that they can go and network uh, to actually get in the door and 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 also to, to try their their skill out, you know. Okay. So yeah. So you brought up networking. Um, as local artists in Florida, um, the purpose of the show is to get the awareness out that there is talent here in Florida. So um, do you feel? as the six years you've been in the industry, do you feel that there is enough of us supporting each other, us um, local artists sticking together, you know, helping us out, helping each other out to get, you know, jobs and support and stuff like that? Um, not, not since lately. Um, I, do, I do feel the community's strong enough together at times. You know, and um, they do they do help out every now and then. They hold up you know casting pages for where you can go and, and on audition for certain things, certain projects. Uh, but I heard about this, and I was like, oh, this is a this is an amazing idea to just you know show people that there there really is we we do exist and we are here and we are working. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's something that I wanted to to show because like I said, I've I've spoke to a lot of different people. And they, you know, they always say, well, there's talent, but I need to go to Atlanta. Yeah. You know, I need to go to California. I need to go to New York. Um, I need to go to Chicago, something like that. But they never speak about Florida. Right. And I've worked with a lot of different people, and I'm like, there is talent here. And I know that, you know, if we all go out and search for it, it's there. You don't have to search far. Right. You don't have to search far. There, it is talent there. Have you ever worked with any actor, any co-actor, um, you guys wasn't buying me anything, um, how did you deal with that? Well, I was, I was trained to actually, you know, when I'm with an actor that, that seems like they're not giving you anything, uh, reality is that, 
that they really are giving you something. I mean, there's always something that, that you can work with. There's always, there's always, there's always, there's always there. Always there. Always yeah, something there. Yeah, there's something there. Okay. So that always that always helped me. That really helped. Me. That's good. Um, okay, so if there was any actor that was um, going to audition for the very, very first time, right. um, what motivational advice would you give them? Do it. You know, just you know, you, everybody gets nervous. Even the Merle Streeps of, the, of this time, of these times, and you know, all the big things, they all get. Everybody gets nervous. Right. It happens, you know. Um, but yeah, just you got to be able to go over there, go ahead, go out there, you know. Uh, if you, if you have any training, you know what I mean? That's always great. If you have training, you know, just go through your, your process. And then once you go in there, just uh, remember to have fun. Because at the end of the day, you're, you're, you're reading for a role that you're very interested in, that you want. So so just be that character. Okay. Any of you actors that are starting out, you want to continue to, you go into your audition for the first time, you want to watch this clip over and over again before you go to your audition. Because this is not going to be, you know, your girl last audition. It, it won't be. Um, if you don't get the part, it's okay. There's more auditions. If you do get the part, that's even better. There still will be more auditions. So you definitely want to just keep keep putting yourself out there. This is something you really, really want to do. So I've did some research on you. Mm. Um, you have some projects that are coming to re being released. Yes. Sir. Um, and can you tell us a little bit about those projects? Tell you a little bit. Yes, yeah, yeah. a little bit. We can't give too much away. <laughs> yeah. Give enough that the odds would want to go out and, and check it out. Sure, sure. Uh, well, there's a movie on the 15th of March that's coming out. It's called The Seasons. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a wonderful timepiece film uh, based in the uh, 50s. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful story about you know, love and, and basically just what they what they went through in that time era. You know what I mean? Um, and family. It's about family as well, faith. Okay. Yeah, so it's a beautiful film. I, I believe that everybody should go watch that. Again, it's March 15th that it premieres. Um, I have another film that's releasing as well. Uh, it's called The Last One. Okay. Um, not sure exactly when it's releasing this year. It could be in March or in April. Okay. Uh, I know that it's releasing in Malaysia first. And, and if, oh. And yeah. Malaysia okay. and a few other countries, and then it's hopefully going to come to the States. Okay. So, uh, hopefully you guys will be on the lookout for that. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So where can anyone, if they want to look you up or search for you, where can they find you? Yes, yes. Um, my Instagram, Benny Bernard uh, Jr. They can find me there. Uh, they can find me at, um, they can find me on Facebook, Benny okay. Bernard. They can find me there. Um, I also have a Twitter, okay. which is uh, B Bernard, uh, that BBJ. It's Twitter, my Twitter name. Okay. Um, so yeah, the places they can find me. Okay. Yeah. So those are social media outlets. You know, you can search for them at. Um, and you have some other projects. Is there any other projects you're you're going to be working on that's not being released, which you're going to be acting in? I'm actually in the middle. I'm working in, on one right now. It's called the Contingency Plan. It's uh, I play an astronaut, um, and uh, we are pretty much. About to start in February, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's gonna be an amazing uh, TV show. Um, you know, they're we're just needing a little bit of help to to to, to fund the film, the, to fund the actual TV show, so we can get some some more uh, you know series out there picked up by the industry. All right. All right. So definitely, you want to support support us artists, support him, Thank you. support his work. Um, check out. Seasons that's coming out in March and support him in the contingency. Um, this is Director's Talk. Thank you for tuning in uh, with me and Benny Bernard Jr. Tune in next time. My grandpa David Lomax moved the entire family from South Carolina to Florida in 1949. We're going to be going on the season for a little while. Earn a living to put some food on the table, right? They ended up in a place called Indian Town, where my mama Bernice met my daddy Wendy. So tell me, what's your name? Don't you supposed to be in the house doing your chores? <laughs> it didn't take long before they became an item, and Bernice ended up getting pregnant by Wendy and had me. That pain only means you're close to delivery. Keep breathing. Hold on, hold on. That ain't his baby. No, man, ain't no baby.
man ain't his kid. Man, that baby light his butter. I Let me give you the money, baby. No, the baby is your baby. But then Wendy really wanted to see me, so Bernice found a way to make it happen without Harry knowing about it. Mama, I need you to watch the kids for me while I go to work. I didn't see Bernice again until I was in my teens. Wow, Grandma Bridget. I could only imagine how you must have felt after your mom and dad left you. Hmm. By the grace of God, I still had my Grandma Annie Mae, and she taught me a lot about life. What that was? You stay here! Stay here! Get in the house! Right after that, I got some news that would turn my world upside down. When they first came from South Carolina. Where have you been, huh? Where have you been? I was at the beach with Covey, and I was at the beach with Covey! Yes! Oh, Lord. I don't know why she treats me like this. Baby, I'm so sorry you had to deal with her foolishness. Well, now, what's going on? Police are coming, and what? they're looking for Bridget.